What's up guys, it's your boy Jigsaw here back again with another Injustice 2 mobile video. And today I have a very special video for you guys, uh, especially for the beginners. I am going to teach you how to do high damage in raids as a beginner with a really low threat account. So uh, many of you know by now that if you have cer certain characters in a roster, you can do damage in raids without any headache. So you don't need a high roster to do uh, some damage in raids so that you get higher on the leaderboard. But let's start off with the number one advice. Just join a league that is farming tier 5 or 6 uh, as fast as you can. Um, because most of the leagues by now are able to farm tier 5, 6, 7 and 8. And they just want active players in the league. So just apply to a bunch of leagues that are doing uh, tier 5 or 6. And if you manage to get in one of those, ask them for their communication uh, uh, app so that you can talk with the guys. And then uh, do whatever you, you can to help that league in the progress by checking in every day, uh, funding their raid. Uh, as minimum as you can with the coins that you have but just held over a league so that they can keep you uh, there for a much longer time uh, then what you want to do is get certain characters that are going to boost your overall damage and rates uh, the characters I'm talking about first of all is King of Atlantis so you would have to stick around for a few raids with that uh, specific league and gather some league credits uh, those currencies that we have here and buy king of atlantis aquaman shards until you unlock him so after you unlock this character you are pretty much set to do uh, damage in raids but uh, this character won't work alone so uh, even if you don't upgrade this character this guy would still be able to get you 1.5 million damage uh, per fight in raids just uh, with level zero gears without upgrading this character whatsoever but then uh, to do that kind of damage you would have to have uh, another character that is going to support the king of atlantis aquaman uh, as Silver Doctor Fate is pretty hard to get at the beginning if you don't get lucky with the uh, hero chest, the 150 gems chest, you can wait another couple of raids and buy uh, Power Girl shards because they are very cheap and you can unlock her uh, very fast. So you need to have Power Girl at uh, 3 stars but preferably at 4 stars. Uh, let's take a look at the passives and you'll understand why. So first let's start with King of Atlantis Aquaman. Aquaman. So you don't even have to bother upgrading the gears, upgrading the talents or leveling up the character. You just need to stay alive with this character and do three special trees. This is 10% opponent's current health reduction. So you need to hit a boss that has full health immediately when your raid is starting so you just need to stay alive for enough time that you can hit the boss with uh, this special tree three times so that is going to do like 500k plus per special tree but in order to do that you need to have another character a combo builder or a tank uh, to survive and build a combo and I don't know survive by tagging in so at the, at the beginning of the match you would have to tag in a bunch of times to gain power because each time you are tagging in and out your characters you automatically gain one bar of power just by tagging in and out so if you are tagging a bunch of times you would have more power than the boss so you would, you would be able to do special tree much quicker but for that to happen you first need to have a tank a character that can survive and take a hit if uh, 
the bus is able to do a special uh, and the second thing you need uh, to not get hit at all with your king of atlantis aquaman so why i'm saying power girl it's a good choice because it gives you minus two uh, power bars cast per special ability so your abilities your abilities would cast even less with two bars of power that is a really uh, game changer because the special tree on Q on Q of Atlantis costs eight bars of power that is really expensive as a special tree and you would you would need to tag out in and out a bunch of times to reach that eight bars of power and with lower threat characters that are not yet built you won't be able to survive that long so a power reduction character like power girl comes very handy and if you don't have the resources to upgrade king of atlantis right away because you don't really have to uh, you can just upgrade the gears for power girl at least to level 20 gears and you would be just fine and put some defense and health on her and just uh, uh, try try it uh, first in campaign do some practice uh, right there and see if you can manage to do three special trees without your king of atlantis aquaman being touched uh, but you as a beginner you would have a lot of gems laying around so if you manage to buy the 150 gems hero chest and you manage to get lucky and get this guy just upgrade this guy and don't worry about power girl at least for now so why this guy is better it, it is because it has the same passive as power girl that uh, lowers the, the power the power cost for your special abilities but it also mitigates some defense from the boss that you are fighting so you will able to do more damage with your king of atlantis aquaman even though you are not upgrading that character but uh, after you have the tank uh, upgraded at least to level 20 gears and uh, you see that you can last a little bit longer with your tank uh, just go and upgrade king of atlantis aquaman at least to level 40 gear because this guy is going to pull uh, the heavyweight in raids for your roster so be just because you have unlocked this guy you would be able to do some insane damage um what else you you would need a third character in your roster and for this specific team i would advise you go for either silver bane if you manage to unlock this guy, put this guy in your team, in your King of Atlantis team because of the passive. Uh, at 5 star is 30% team's damage for basic tag and swipe attacks. What that means is that your basic hits would do 30% more damage. And if you read the King of Atlantis Aquaman passive, you know that if you do a lot of special twos and a lot of special threes, you would get an insane... Uh, damage bonus per basic attacks uh, up until plus 600 percent more damage per basic attack so this 30 percent might may not seem that uh, big of a deal but for a beginner you you won't last that long uh, until you you would be able to reach that 600 percent basic uh, damage so having silver bane with this passive would be very useful and this guy also boosts the critical attack chance for your whole team by 30% which is quite a lot so as a beginner 30% uh, critical chance for you, all of your characters in your team it's a pretty big deal but the better choice as the third character for your king of atlantis aquaman team would be shazam as a beginner just make sure you you farm as uh, as much as you can uh, normal arena uh, especially when when it's shazam season the three days season make sure you farm as much as you can to unlock this character or at least get a decent amount of shards because eventually season after season uh, you are going to unlock this character and this one is going to boost king of atlantis aquaman attack by a lot 
just because of this plus 100% attack for Arcane and my teammates. So this uh, would double the base attack that King of Atlantis Aquaman has. Um, and this guy also has a bunch of cool tricks here. Um, chance to have a sp uh, free special tree and his special tree is healing the whole team. Uh, critical damage multiplier reduction for your hell, uh, whole team so you would be able to last uh, much longer in the fight to do those special trees for King of Atlantis Aquaman and yeah this is all an overall solid character for your King of Atlantis Aquaman team and it's the most optimal one um, but if you don't uh, have enough teams or enough time to farm uh, the arena just wait until you see a chest here called the wizard chest that has chances uh, to drop Shazam and Black Adam. So drop all your gems on that chest. Uh, but first just drop your gems on the regular hero chest so that you, you can get a couple of new characters as a beginner. Then after you have some variety of characters to choose from to fight in arena. Uh, gather up some gems and wait for the wizard chest uh, but only if you already unlocked King of Atlantis Aquaman from the league store if you don't have King of King of Atlantis Aquaman focus on that and uh, leave the chest hunt uh, for other time uh, now I have some raid footage uh, with uh, my girlfriend's, girlfriend's account where I tried to prove uh, this thing that you don't need a beastly King of Atlantis Aquaman or a beast team just to do some uh, decent damage in raids. Uh, she has a very um, decent King of Atlantis Aquaman at level 40 gears but again it's not maxed out and it's not optimized. So the whole purpose of that video is to show you guys how you can fight with the King of Atlantis Aquaman team without getting hit and uh, doing those special trees to pull all, to pull all the weight from the raid. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I fight normally in campaign with King of Atlantis just so that I can teach you guys step by step what you need to do when the match is starting. So I'm going to risk, risk a pip with, with King of Atlantis Aquaman. So let's say we are putting in Dr. Fate and Silver Bane because like I said Shazam is pretty uh, hard to unlock at the beginning. So we are not going for a legendary team that's for sure. But this one would, just, would do just fine. Amazing. Right away, an invasion. Let's lower the volume. So, right when the match is starting, you need to tag in a bunch of times. Going in for one special tree. Tag in. Uh, exactly after the special tree, you need to tag out and tag in your tank. Going in, doing a combo, special tree again. Tag out. Combo, tag in your damage dealer. Going in, special three. Continue the combo, special one. So after you've done those special trees, you just need to gather up some power to do a lot of special tools. I mean, in my opinion, three is enough. And then you can spam special trees all the way and corner the boss. Um, I cannot show you exactly 100% um, in arena how that works. 
because the opponents are much powerful and the AI is so dumb. Uh, but I have the raid footage that I am going to show you right now and you can see um, what you need to do in order to, do, to pull in those special trees. But just keep in mind that King of Atlantis Aquaman also has a passive that revives himself. So if you, if you don't have all of the characters that I suggested you build right, just make sure that you get hit with the super move from the boss with your King of Atlantis Aquaman and you, you have a lot of power to revive yourself. Because that guy revives uh, with the percentage of health um, related to how much power he has at that specific moment when he dies. So that's it. I'm going to show the raid footage and just keep practicing practicing until you get that right and until you make that fight perfect to do those special trees and then after you manage to do those special trees you would be able to finish i don't know in top 10 very easily and then with those kind of rewards you can build uh, your whole roster around that because you can get fragments gears for characters shards to unlock characters a, a lot of stuff man so i hope you like this video if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a like drop a comment down below and join uh the youtube family with the join button uh that we have live right now on the channel take care guys peace